On a recent video, I explained how my system works in Evernote, but what I didn't tell you at that point was that I was already beta testing the widget that was released today. My plan for today is to show you the rest of the system, how it's working with the filter widget, and what I expect or may say wish for the future of this new widget. But first things first, let's understand how it works. There is no filter with notes widget for the free account. If you are subscribed to the personal account, you can use one filtered notes widget, but if you are professional or teams, you can use multiple filtered notes. But please note that for now, there's a limit of widgets one can have in the home page of Evernote. The limit is 12 widgets. Most of the settings work just like the filter we already have for notes, but there are some new ones that are quite interesting. For example, you can choose one of your saved searches to have the notes automatically updated on the widget. Or if you are a heavy user, just write the comments. You can also set your preferred order for the notes in each widget and of course, name the widgets. I'm an Agile enthusiast and what you'll see from now on is a system based, inspired on Agile. I have a separate set of widgets for my students, we'll get there. For all the other activities, I keep three widgets that work based on tags. And using tags is key here because I can leave the notes in whatever notebook and also have them following the workflow. If you're feeling a little lost, please refer to the first video to understand my system in more detail. As for the backlog, I'm using notebooks with shortcuts. For example, if I have an idea, the notebook for this channel is in the shortcuts area. It's easy to get there and start writing the idea. And there's an even faster way to get there using keyboard shortcuts. Command J on Mac or Control Q on Windows. When I decide it's time to start working on a project or idea, I'll tag that note with story. The note is now in my story widget, and I know that I have to start working on some basic information for that video. Is this information being useful for you so far? Please consider subscribing to the channel. When I'm happy with all the basic information I need and I decide to move forward with the project, I'll remove the tag story and add the tag work in progress. And now the note is in my work in progress widget. And by the way, work in progress here is not exactly what it means in Agile, but it's easy to understand that that's in what I'm working now. So I only have things that I really am working right now in the work in progress widget. Finally, when I'm done with the project, I'll remove the work in progress tag, automatically removing the note from home. Below this set of widgets, I have two other widgets, one for the students that are prospects and another one for the students I'm working with right now. But there are so many possibilities here and I'm still experimenting with some ideas. There is only one item in my wish list for the new filtered notes widget. I would love to be able to drag a note from one widget to the other one. I understand all the implications here because a note has a lot attached to it, for example, tags, the note is always inside a notebook, but I think I have a solution for that. Once you start dragging a note from a widget, you'll see a pop-up message telling you that that note will lose all the attributes from that filtered notes widget and will gain the attributes of the other filtered notes widget it's heading to. What about you? Any wish list for the new filtered notes widget? please let me know in the comments. And if you love Evernote like I do and wish to learn more, please subscribe to the channel. See you soon.